Good morning. Let's go get vaccinated. Second dose time. I'm excited. Never been this excited to get a shot in my life. There's something in this song. Putting on sunscreen and then we're ready. So excited. Here's the fit. I don't know what the fuck it's giving. It's not giving anything. I just didn't want to wear a jacket because it's like 60 something already and it's like 7.30. So going Cardi, but it like doesn't really go, but it doesn't matter. Top, easy access, you know what I'm saying? And these air access. Again, whispering, because Trisha's obviously asleep. And then his hat, because we're incognito today. You guys, I'm so excited. Please go get vaccinated. Thank you. Got that guava. Are y'all surprised? Yeah. I do be the drink of the summer. Trisha said it. Woo! Okay. Going to me, doctor. My doctor. Is it me, doctor, or my doctor? This wind is giving drama to this clip. It's just some weird weather. Look at it. Ugh. it? Happy Friday, though, guys. I have no idea what this video is going to be. I just know I'm alone tomorrow, post-vaccine, and if I feel like shite, I'm going to just be talking to you guys all day. So, we'll see. Bruh, I'm sweating now, but had to flex on them a little bit. Um, now I'm going to a second grocery store of the day. Because I just got home and then LA texted me to get Gatorade. Because I guess Gatorade, you know, helps with hydration, all of that. And she said it definitely helped her. So I'm trying to do my errands and all that shit today. In case I feel like crap tomorrow. It's a beautiful day now. Love it. Thumbnail. Who else thinks the best Gatorade flavor is the um, Glacier Freeze? Because I do. I don't really drink Gatorade. But when I do, it's glacier freeze. Foil and all. Because Trish and I found out, this is probably, do I want to admit this? Yeah. We didn't know medication expired. So we literally have had bottles of medication from probably freshman year that we've kept. And just like, we created this little pharmacy bucket and we just always, we just got everything in there. And then I think it was Chris and Alec that told us that um yeah there's an expiration date and so we checked our tylenol our advil i got advil as well and um yeah all expired so no no this grocery haul would be really boring just you know our creamer bread mayo like you know there's nothing really fun in here actually okay wait I'm trying these almond milk little um they're supposed to be, God, what is the name of those like little crunch wrapped little thingies? Oh my God, this is going to bug me. Future me, find it and put it right here. Thank you. Should we try one? Let's do a taste test. Mmm. Oh. Breakfast. These are fire. Damn. I'm obsessed with balsamic glaze. Um, and I didn't have the normal kind, so I got one with fig in it. Okay. But I put this shit on everything. Like, it's kind of disgusting. The balsamic girl. It's the Greek in me. I'm like 25% Greek. But I don't know. I get a lot of comments about that actually. Because of my last name, Philopolis. It's pretty straightforward in your face, Greek. Okay, I'm gonna unload the groceries. Be like us just doing the most mundane shit. Trash vibes. Y'all better sort for ear um, recycling. <laughs> I said this is all plastic. <laughs> so I'm plastic. So much fun. Okay, y'all know how I said I have scaffolders? I've been saying this for a while, right? And they've been like right out my window. They're still here. I don't know when I'm gonna be free of this. I have towels here 
and towels here. There you go. So water's coming down from there, getting all up in here and got all up in here. Mm -mm. The good thing. It's fine now, like I get it. I get y'all gotta do your work, but I'm gonna run out of towels, you know? <laughs> I think this video's gonna be more like a, like a, like a, like a vlog, but also just more like a chat with me, hang out with me, type B. You know how Emma Chamberlain just be like chilling in her apartment and makes a YouTube bed? Uh, let's just try to do that. I don't know if it's gonna deliver, like hers deliver, but um, we're gonna try. Um, I know I'm gonna do something today, so I'm gonna film a get ready with me with you guys. Do a little skincare, show you my makeup routine. I can show you guys. And a little, another small business haul. Should we do that now? Or should we save that for later? I'm gonna save that for later and do it when I'm looking more presentable. Should I submit a final right now? Both of my finals are done, but they're technically due in two weeks. I don't wanna add anything else. They feel done to me. Breakfast. So something I need to do before, basically the month of May I've discovered, I didn't really even notice until I broke it down. It's like very cray cray for me. Cray cray, oh my God. It's just like, you know, jam packed, back to back situation so if i want to if i want to like order any bathing suits for miami or need to order anything for like graduation events or like anything i kind of need to figure that out now and i don't necessarily need to pack for miami but i definitely want to go through my suits and see what i've got going on so this is what i keep my bathing suits in clearly yeah a little cable teak and then i keep like my cover-ups and stuff but you know, there's like a mix of cute bathing suits and then like bathing suits I ordered in like high school from like Zoffel and those websites that I like obviously don't shop on anymore and are definitely, they're just not gonna be cute. Okay, definitely still love these. They're like that deep blue, very high-waisted like this would not fit my hips. This bitch is like up on the fucking waist, so. But I love her, very cute. And that I think is from Kylie's Depop, but I forget what the full name is. Keeks Vintage. It's at Kylie underscore Davis is her Depop. Def this. I don't know how to feel about like tops, bathing suit tops and bottoms that don't match. Cause on me, I like them to match, but I thrifted this and I don't have a matching bottom. So that's a little difficult sometimes for me. Still want that. I'm just gonna throw the ones that I do like. I have this House of Sunny one, so cute. I've worn the top before y'all have seen. I think the bottoms are just, they're pretty full cover edge. This one piece, a deaf yes. I'm obsessed with her. I'm obsessed. Oh, here were the bottoms, psych. These bottoms came with the, the doll top, I forgot. Did I just like throw that? Didn't even, that's my, I have chaotic energy sometimes. Okay, but these bottoms, they're teeny meeny. I don't really wear teeny meeny bottoms. But in Miami, bitch, maybe I will. And this top, just the brown one, love her. Classic black one from Target. This one, now we're getting a little, you know, this is Top Shop that I got. I exposure. Can we chill? It's that material. Y'all know this bathing suit material, right? I don't know how to feel about it. But like, I don't know you guys. I think I'm gonna have to try this on later because I don't know about that. Okay, this one I thrifted. It is Victoria's Secret. This pattern, like flowers, tulips, and the top's all fun. I just like the wood, wood detail. I don't know, could be cute. I haven't worn it. It's like plastic in here. That's suspicious. That's weird. Hate, 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 hate this. It's giving a little too much Forever 21. You know, it's just like not, I when I look at it, I don't wanna wear it. Okay, so that's all we need to know. This, no, it's also stained. 
So I mean, that's what you get when you buy a white bikini. Staring at a man's butt crack right now. Awesome. I'll remember this fucking, this shit. Oh my God, I would never wear this again. This is this awful bikini that I got like senior year of high school. Is this cute? Like just one of those bandos. Kind of cute. Rooshed booty. Rooshed boot. Maybe I'll keep that. Like, I don't know why I was into just buying string bikini tops when I don't have a matching bottom. Because now I'm lost. Like this color, this purple color is so cute. How do I find a matching bottom? You know, because it's such a specific purple. Ma'am, what is this? It just isn't the right cheetah. Do you guys know what I'm saying? It's just not there. It's too cheap looking. Or not, I don't know. It's just not my vision. It's not my type of cheetah. Well, I don't know if that was interesting at all. Um, but just going through my bathing suits. Kind of found out I don't really have that many. So... Uh -huh. Did y'all watch The Bachelor? It fucking drove me crazy how Matt James was always like. Maybe he wasn't doing like the lip bite thing, but he was always doing this. I think it was a nervous tick, so I don't want to be mean and make fun of him for it. But like genuinely, and then the cameraman would be like zooming in. I'd be like, like why the hand? Like why are you so obsessed with like this, you know? Why is that getting camera time? I also took my band-aid off because I'm about to join my Zoom. And I don't my alarm being like, Chloe, get on Zoom. I don't wanna be like flexing on the class, like. I wanna show you guys. Let me turn off the 1975 so I get copyrighted. Hi. Okay, it's later in the day. Um, I have a headache. Um, my head feels like it weighs 500 pounds and I'm a little nauseous, um, but I'm fine. I've just been, it also doesn't help that I've been on my laptop for a while. I submitted one final way early, but Fuck it, whatever, I'm done. And I'm excited to be done and I wanna feel done. And then I wrapped up my other internship class and had that meeting and that went great. And then I just got this package in from Janelle. Her brand is called J. Ariona, I'm pretty sure. Janelle sent me this amazing, I guess two piece, three piece technically, but it's just this fabulous tube top and these arm sleeves. And then probably one of the most like amazing and just like coolest tops I'll ever own and it'll be forever so special to me is this top she made out of 50 plastic bags and I'm just sorry <laughs> I just think it's cool the way different people interpret sustainability and approach it and you can do it in so many different ways and I'm a big fan of hers and I'm just I just really looked naked just then <laughs> but I'm just feeling honored right now that she would even think to send this to me because she worked so hard on that and that's like her baby. So I'm just like, oh, but her brand is, the Instagram is j.ariona, ariona the label. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but she does prom wear, crochet, custom, and then like original reused pieces as well as her amazing plastic bag top that I'm about to show you. But here's this on it. And I think it'll be fun to style in the summertime. We'll see what I do with it. Cause I definitely want to like play it up and not just wear it like this. I want to like do some fun layering things with it. I don't know. So yeah, she left this note on the top as over 50 plastic bags were used to make me, which is just the coolest thing ever. It looks crochet. So, okay, the back is lace up. How freaking cool is that? And then this is the top and then the straps just kind of go like that. And I think she styled it with like over a button up and stuff. I don't know, it's cool. Cause like it's not necessarily the comfiest fabric. So like layering with it is key, but I would want to layer with it anyways, but it's so freaking cool. And that's so amazing. Please check her out. That's the stuff from Janelle. So cool. She feels so snuggly. Me, Leslie and Ellie right now are figuring out dinner plans. I think it's gonna be around eight because we all kind of have stuff to do today. I don't really, but um, I, I'm just doing random stuff around the apartment. So I'm gonna try to pick on my outfit and get ready for fun, you know, and play some fun music and do my thing. This is what I'm thinking. I have this top that I got off Depop that I'm loving. I know it looks bridal, I know. But trust me, I think it looks, would look really cool with like layering 
and shit and a lot of necklaces and like fun hair and like hoops or like a cool eye and some like fun jeans or like you know like just this but like really overdone and crazy town this is so funny it looks like a wedding dress claire wedding day hold on let me let me let me fix it it's ridiculous like of course but there's something so amazing about it the arms are sick how they like ruche all the way down and open god this outfit is sending me put it over the purple wedding vibes but yeah like what can i do with this fit goals she has a lot of potential like where what direction am i gonna take her in i'm getting a phone call let's answer it it's ellie kim hi you're my vlog no. <laughs> hey y'all been on facetime with ellie and leslie trying to figure out where we're gonna eat now because plans changed weather changed Leslie also got her second dose today and is feeling kind of eh. And so we're just like, let's grab a quick day. We're trying to find something in between us. Happy medium. It's a whole thing. Just been grubbing on my Glacier Freeze. Yeah. Let's get it. I usually do my makeup, to be honest, in that mirror, just standing. But I'm going to... Mirror lamp right here. My makeup lamp, not mirror lamp. I guess it's a mirror lamp. Sure. Okay, you guys. What should we talk about? What should we talk about? Well, first off, Sephora Beauty Amplifier Smooth Ultra Smoothing Prime. It's got a little pump. Honestly, really like things that have pumps. <laughs> okay. But yeah, let me fill you guys in on what the freak is going down soon. So, um, okay, I just put my concealer like this awesome i really don't do my makeup in any certain like i don't really have that many methods here except for my eyebrows but basically also are you always supposed to wet beauty blenders because i just use them dry is that sus is that like a sus thing to do because i always use them just dry and i really need to wash this to be honest i'll do all that just like dumb stuff tomorrow wow you guys must be so excited to watch the rest of the vlog dinner updates let's see what's what's good here it's so hard for me and my friends to decide on a um restaurant because we're all this is all of us i'm good with whatever i'm down with whatever and it's like i love a go with the flow bitch but half the time none of us can make a decision because we're just go with the flow, bitches. Yay, it's decided we're getting Thai food. Thai food's probably like one of my favorite cuisines fucking ever. So I'm hype. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, that we can't ever make a decision. Yeah, it just eventually happens. But okay, here's me using shape tape. I don't know if I even pointed that out. I'm so not a beauty YouTuber. This is funny, but I do love makeup. Like I honestly really do love makeup and I think it's so fun to play with. I just don't think I necessarily do it well or like know the tips and tricks of like highlight here and how to contour, you know, I just do my shit. So if this is um crazy, like I guess let me know, but don't be too, but don't be mean. <laughs> So basically I put concealer all over my face because I don't use foundation. Um, I'm scared to use foundation, but I basically use concealer as foundation. I, that's probably like a big no-no. I'm gonna do it because I do it all the time and it works somewhat fine. I've never used foundation in my life. And I'm honestly scared of it. I've used like a tinted moisturizer before and that's a vibe for sure. So I don't know. Okay, let me get back to what I'm doing. So basically, not this weekend, but next weekend, Trisha and I are, for Mother's Day, going to Long Island, where my grandma will be, my, like, family, a lot of family in Long Island. So we go to Long Island. My mom's going to drive from Massachusetts and get me and T, um, and then we're going to drive to Long Island, meet up with everybody, do some fun family things. I'm going to show Trisha the our beach waves because she showed me hers in LA we're gonna do all that it's gonna be freezing but it'll be fun I'll show her like my fave spots and I'll vlog that I think is what I'm planning on doing it I don't want it to be vlog 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 because you'll 
basically see or hear what I'm doing. And the next videos to come, because I've kind of planned it out, will be on Long Island. And then Trisha will take the Jitney back to New York that Sunday. And then I'm going to go home with my mom and my family. Go home for a couple of days in Massachusetts. I need to get my tattoo retouched. And he only offers free retouches in the same year. So I have to do a consultation and then book the retouch. It was just so annoying. There's such hardos there. I gotta respect it. Being clean, being responsible, being whatever, especially during the pandemic. But I'm like, it's literally this big. It's my chili pepper. So I'm like, can't y'all just color it in? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. But hula bronzer, bitch. We're going in. So I'll be home. But I'm definitely gonna hit my favorite thrift shops and bestie. <sighs> Bestie Linda's gonna be home as well, so you know. Linda and Chloe take savers, a classic little go around. Okay, I make this harsh, everybody, so do not be alarmed. I blend this in, okay? Obviously, I'm gonna do a thrift with me and a little haul afterwards, so that'll be really fun because that's my favorite thrift store of all time. In the realm of like Goodwill, Savers, um, Salvation Army, all those bitches. It's not one of those like crazy cultivated ones, but I'm going to go to one of those high energy vintage in Somerville. Um, I've mentioned it because I've hauled stuff or like shown stuff in my outfit videos from there. So I'm def gonna hit that as well before I go to Miami. Gonna do that and then do like a thrift with me, do a haul, do a try on haul, obvi. Then I'm gonna come back to New York. Going to haul, or going to haul, going to vlog the whole week of my walking graduation, virtual showing of my graduation when all my family's coming and it's all that craziness and funness and I'll show you my outfits and I'll show you what we're doing and all the celebration and all that because it'll be also really fun for me to look back on and watch and stuff. After that, Miami vlog. See how it's like vlog, vlog, vlog. Like, so I don't wanna be so insane and that's why I feel bad that this video is a vlog. I haven't been talking way too much about, I don't know. I, my brain is scattered right now. I'm so sorry, everybody. Blush vibes. This is the Milani blush in, oh, what the fuck? Luminoso, number five. I was on stupid eyebrows. So I take a little spoolie brush like this. Take, I've talked about this before in a video, the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze, brow styling gel, wax gel, and it's just like a literal pot of, you know, clear gel and I dip my spoolie in there, get like a good amount of product and just brush them up. And for me, I kind of like a lot of product, at least for the hairs in the front of my eyebrow because I want those to really carry the tan, if that makes sense. I don't know, what I do to make my eyebrows look like they're like really, you know, set in there, I just take my finger and I like plaster them down. <laughs> See the difference? You know? I'm graduating like very soon. May is this Saturday. How do I feel, you may ask? Kind of really scared. Um, and here's the thing. And I talked to my therapist about this during the pandemic, which is when I was really losing my mind about how I'm not doing enough and nobody's ever gonna wanna hire me and just comparing myself to a million people and thinking I wasn't creative enough, thinking I didn't have like an art to show, show for. And like when people ask me what I do or what's my art or I'm a creative, what do you create? It's like, what do I create? It just outfit pictures on Instagram. It's like, no, I wanna be more than that. But like, I don't know. I created this whole fashion brand, all hypothetical in Paris. And then I come home and I can't actually obtain what I had set out to obtain in class, like as a hypothetical, but I really fell in love with my ideas and the idea of me being my own creative director and all this stuff. And I was just telling my therapist this and she was like, Miss girl, she was like, you are 21 years old. Like you have so much life left to live. You don't need it figured out right now. She was like, you can take like sewing classes. You can take other classes. Like if you didn't need to get it done all in college, like you're fine. Just chill out. Like it's not a ticking time bomb. The second school ends, the second you throw your fucking cat, bitch, you don't need to have a full-time job and your full-time job doesn't need to be your dream job and so she's just spelling this out for me things that were so obvious but yet so you know subdued in my brain or just so like overpowered by all my anxiety and all my you know worries and I don't know I I have always had a hard time just thinking I'm never doing enough and it's definitely hard like living in New York especially going to a university in New York where you're constantly seeing people do amazing things and be out and about all the time and going to bars and going to this and doing this but also having an internship and getting straight A's and it's like whoa 
hello, and you know, like the city never sleeps, girl. And it's like, yeah, it doesn't. But if you do, if you need to rest, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you need to take some time, your mental health, your physical health, your relationships, what makes you happy is way more important. So just at the end of the day, remember that. I don't know why I, this turned into a little therapy session. Hey, at the end of the day, I just have to remind myself like, you are your own person different from everybody else. Your time will come. You are working so hard. The things that you've done, the things that you have accomplished are amazing in their own right. And take a second to appreciate that and say like out loud, the things I've done, like, are amazing that's why you know my girly pops are getting full-time jobs and i'm like we need to go get drinks this is amazing this is not just like it's what you do after college no like you did that you should celebrate that that's so cool so and then again like as my girls are getting jobs full-time jobs i'm i'm not i'm still struggling to find that that's okay like you need to know that that's okay it'll come and it'll happen and you're gonna make money and you're gonna be okay i wish money wasn't so important in this world i really do um but it is and it's like fuck i hate capitalism but yet i want to go into the fashion industry so it's like girl what i don't know um what the fuck was that <laughs> take what i just said with a grain of salt i actually don't really know what i just said i kind of just glitched and went off a bit because i feel like i've been needing to have this discussion with myself i guess that i just need to like believe in yourself oh fuck yeah it's just a weird time to be alive um in general let alone a weird time to be the age that i'm at and graduating college and it not really feeling over but it is time for highlight bitches it's time to highlight it's time to, time to highlight how are you guys doing i really i like actually really want to know okay now i'm going to use pseudo lab freckle freckle little thingy to do some fake freckles um i kind of have to speed up getting ready because we took such a long time to pick a freaking restaurant so i'm gonna do a little bit more of my makeup just really quick and then touch back with you guys hey to be honest i kind of hate the way my hair and makeup look hate 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 your hair and makeup today we have to switch the vibe really quick groovy casual on the bottoms doing the gold with the loafers gold everywhere else this little tank top i got off depop classic necklace these are i also thrifted gold hoops and then just my you know kangle hat i don't have time to like gel my hair back or do anything so i'm doing this but i don't know i don't want to overdo the hat is all that's why i'm concerned to get on the subway um and you guys know i hate being late but time flew. Um, I also need to figure out what bag I'm doing. Should I just do, like I usually keep all my shit just in here. Not obsessed. Okay, I'm going juicy because I think it needs like that baguette kind of shape. I'm so sorry my get ready with me turned into I'm stressed and I gotta go. And I'll check in later. And yeah, I can't even close my hand with this, with these rings, that's so funny. There we go. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I just got back from dinner. And let me tell you, I feel like absolute shite. I really do. Like, my head feels like it's going to fall off. And I do not get headaches. So it's like, I'm very blessed. I really don't. Um, also, my stomach kills. But it's probably because I ate my dinner too fast. Because I was hungry. And... I eat really fast. That's just how I roll. I'm going to shower because I need a hot shower. And then I'm going to get into bed. Um, but yeah, dinner was really fun. It was cute. Catching up with the girlies. I'll check it in a second. Hello, everybody. I needed that shower. Wow, that felt really good. So I put CeraVe all over my face. For like acne scarring and all that cute stuff, I use the Murad Invisiscar resurfacing treatment. And just do a little dollop. And I put it on my chin, under my nose, and then on this pimple right here that I'm afraid will leave a scar. Take out my contacts. We're using Clear Care. I love science. Okay. 
Sometimes I wish I was a magician so I could just snap my fingers. A magician. Like a wizard or somebody, you know? Magical powers. Y'all get the gist. So I could snap my fingers and my hair could be dry. Because right now, honestly, the last thing I want to do is dry my hair. But I also refuse to go to bed with wet hair. Refuse. Tylenol down the hatch. Good night, everybody. We'll see you in the morning. So, vlog. Um, Theo and I are going to REI to get Theo a um, hammock. He wants it for like his outside deck part of his apartment. Asked me if I want to go. I was like, you know what? I should probably get out of the house. So. This is my silly outfit. Uh, such good lighting. Oh, gee. <laughs> Hammock party. Aria is low key a safe space. Comment what color scheme Theo should get. Or this. Wait, is this one? Oh, no, it's double. That's the one you want. Well, again, like, it's I, I like this. Yeah, I think that's more. Fun. That one over those. Hi guys. So I'm back home. Theo met up with some friends in Chinatown and was going to Washington Square Park. But I felt like I needed to go home. I have to bring this bag over there to Salvation Army and do some donations. And I want to pop around the store. And then I think I'm going to go lay in the park. But I got some packages. Um, are you kidding me? Is this my graduation dress? You guys, I love it. It's all using like the same pattern. So she makes like this dress in a ton of different fabrics. I'll put her Depop right here. So cool. Watch silk fabric and that's like the whole back. Super cute. But what I, what really sold me was the bottom half. It's so cool. It's gonna be cool, no? It's like chaotic, but cool. Chaotic madness, love. I love it. She's so cute. And then we have from Koi and Victoria, the Miri print. I'm so excited. This company is black owned. They're amazing. God, get out. Oh my God, get out. Very good, very good. And they flare. So cool. This is their Chi Chi top. Very cute, just, you know, classic, boxy, little crop top, unreal. That is absurd. And this is like the stretchiest, most comfy like mesh. Like it's not uncomfortable mesh. It's like stretchy and cozy. Wow, that is beautiful. This print is just absolutely gorgeous. This will be fun to style and like, wow. Wow, I'm overwhelmed. That is so cool. Let's go to Salvation Army. is giving like the tassel yeah i want it hi guys i'm back from salvation army i'm gonna go to the park across the street drink more gatorade i think what i'm going to do is edit this video out here and chill birds are chirping good vibes let's do it hello everybody happy sunday um today is gorgeous out i'm feeling 100 percent back to normal which is lovely i know this video is super long but i just wanted to add these last couple clips in we're going to chelsea flea market i'm going with leslie and then my brother um and we're just gonna look around flea markets are opening back up and i'm loving it and i love good flea market so that'll be really fun so let's do that yay Thank you, everybody, if you stayed to the end of this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I know this was a crazy ride. It was a long one. But thank you so much for watching. I'm excited for the videos to come. This was definitely a silly one, but 
hope you still enjoyed in all its madness and yeah love you all like comment subscribe i always forget to say that but do it if you want and okay bye <laughs>